Hello everyone, this is Guy. When we last left off, Gibbs was down at the bar resting, and it was an uncomfortable day, but he managed to get through it. He had tried to sleep over at the ruins, but somebody woken up, woke him up and made it clear it was his turn to sleep there. Um, Gibbs was just way too tired. He went to the bar, decided to stay awake a bit, but he noticed he, he couldn't really do it. So he went up here and went to bed, paid the money and decided to sleep in and make it uh, worth the money. But actually, as he got up the next day, he was feeling so... He was feeling so bad. He was feeling feverish. And... He just didn't really have strength. He... Oh, look at him go. <laughs> that was a majestic moment. <laughs> um, yeah, he could barely get out of bed, and he had to tell the barman to keep some water coming up. He had to... He barely ate. Um, and he spent basically the day and the night in bed. This is where we are right now. He was just laying here, drinking just water and water and kind of... Yeah, just his body collapsing a bit on him and demanding rest. So yeah, Gibbs is actually still sleeping. It's the middle of the night and we'll actually speed up. You can see that the game allows for speeding up and slowing down. I normally only speed up if I really feel like the situation, you know, you don't know it's appropriate. But we'll see during the gameplay uh, how I manage that. But yeah, you can actually pause the game, and I might do this in moments that are very tricky, just to think what I should do. But yeah, it's let's go back to the to max speed just so we can get the sunset going, which should happen any minute now. Yeah, you already see everything getting lighter. So yeah, Gibbs had a very bad day. And his money is in a bad situation. He's having some bad dreams. But the robot is trying to help him in those dreams. Still doesn't make it great. He is just dreaming of being in the in the desert and not having strength to get up and the sand slowly covering him more and more. And the robot is trying to stop it and dig him out. But the robot is malfunctioning and pretty beaten down and eventually Gibbs tries to get some air but sand is everywhere and he coughs and he coughs and he wakes up pretty sweaty the robot is there the robot is healthy that's good All right, so Gibbs, Gibbs is in a position where he did think he would land so quickly. He is almost out of cash, just because food in this game is so expensive. I mean, just in this world, I guess you could say. I mean, look at the prices going around here.
man, that barman has <laughs> has some hair. But yeah, like just some rice that sells for so the sell value is what uh what we would get, what I would get if I sold it. But he is asking for double. 169. That's the most basic of foods pretty much. The only one that's even closely um useful and still and even cheaper is the dried meat uh which actually has a decent price it's 67 but you know it's, it's not like you can get this always but like just look at some cooked vegetables 235 so yeah things can get pretty expensive around here but water is actually not that expensive um as you can actually see in the map, this is pretty understandable because, I mean, there is a decent body of water here. If you would notice, like actual blue. So I, I, I assume that always means that the water is a bit deeper. That's quite rare, even in these green areas. So yeah, I guess it makes sense. Water is cheap, but food, <laughs> it is not. So... Yeah, Gibbs had to rent the bed. Uh, he had to pay for it twice because he was there sleeping the whole day. And just a lot of water, still a bit of food, and he is not in a he's not in a great economic position. But okay, uh, he will actually he sees the dried meat is on sale and on sale is being sold at the bar the barman has some so he takes it 67 is a good price for it it's okay he still has his dried meat that he had he bought some now and in the middle of a fever of his fever dreams it looks like he actually asked for a dried fish to eat and the barman did him the favor to, to give him the dried fish, which is, it's not expensive, it's not cheap. So yeah, Gibbs is not in a good starting position, but it could be worse. I mean, at least after he wiped his sweat off, he was feeling okay. And the first thing he saw as he went out is a dead body on the floor. What happened? That is a crazy helmet. Who is this? Dust Bandit. He is shackled. Okay. Is he actually alive? Oh, he used to be a slave. Okay. And he's in a coma. Gibbs looks at the body and decides to look at the equipment that is there. Maybe there's something he could use. This item is... I will get 356 for it. But he knows that this person is still alive. It's a bandit. He knows that the bandits just create a lot of problems around here, but he can't he can't just justify taking this stuff. He doesn't want to be a looter. Not like this. Not somebody that's you hear some fighting noises outside. It's been eventful lately. Mm. He's still feeling pretty weak. But yeah, somebody who didn't attack him, he's not just going to take his, his stuff, even if he's a bandit. Gibbs had a very recent past of being almost on this side of things. He wouldn't go as far as murdering people, but... Picks up the bandit 
and at least tries to put him in the shadow. That's a big fella. <laughs> but okay. What is happening? So many people are running around. Who are these guys? Nomads. Maybe a caravan is being attacked? There's still battling going on. That's crazy. He really doesn't want to get involved, so... He actually just goes up to see what's happening. Seems to be there in the front. He doesn't know who it is. Maybe he can get a better look. By the way, this is the sneaking mode. You see here? It's activated. And these arrows are the people that are seeing me. Um, but yeah, this can also be used to avoid detection. When it's blue or yellow, I think it, it means that they don't see you like with certainty. And this can actually help with um, yeah, not being detected. Because outside there, one single person is not strong. So yeah, I guess it seems okay now. And the red arrows don't necessarily mean that they're enemies, I think. It just means that they're seeing you. So yeah, uh, he actually finds something here. It looks like some kind of a flamethrower. It's a turret, right? Okay, get out. A mounted crossbow, Mark II. Yeah, I can actually use it, but he's not sure if it's his right. So yeah, he, basically he identifies that it's usable, but he doesn't really uh, touch it to avoid any problems. Uh, but down here, there is still some fighting going on. That is crazy. What is what is happening? What is the problem here? So, these are nomads, they shouldn't be the problem. Wait, are those wild animals? No. They're also from the nomads. This is... Who... Who is responsible for all of this? What? Okay, being here is not a great idea. Oh, okay. Hungry bandits. But are they here? I mean, all the nomads should give him some degree of safety. But... I don't really feel too comfortable here, in the middle of it all. At least he found out who was responsible. He thinks that those were actually... yep, yeah, those are bandits. Okay, let's... This is not our battle. 
Okay. But might as well get a good point of view. This place is quite empty. What are you? Oh, Ninja Guard, you look weird. It's not like... It's not like bandits couldn't actually overrun it. Should be careful to see if that happens, because that's the moment to go. But I mean... What are they doing? Are they looking for someone? Maybe some bandits is hidden somewhere? Huh. The guards don't seem too talkative. Some people here talk way less than they should. So it doesn't really get an answer about what's happening. He doesn't hear any battling. Okay, and he remembers actually that he has to be focused. And I mean, keep an eye on the situation, but if possible, try to plan his next move. If you really need some cash, and he still feels quite weak, quite weird, and weak. Man, look at his face. <laughs> but okay, yeah, just he just had a bad day. Okay. Yes, there's still some battling over there, I don't know if you saw it. Guess this is why they're still freaking out. By the way, of course, this can be a bug. This game is kind of buggy. <laughs> it certainly looks like a bug. I'm just trying to RP with it, which is, I think it's also part of the fun. But, man, I, I sure hope those guys don't <laughs> keep running around here like fools forever. That would... <laughs> that would be something. Ah, oh, alright. I mean, even the animals are doing an organized... Um, an organized charge, it seems. <laughs> quite amusing. But in this world, it seems like people have quite a bit of control over their animals, so I guess it could fit. Is there still some fighting going on? I can't really see stuff from here. I'll, I'll go down there again. Or no. I mean, it should be pretty safe. i just go around here. This is crawling with nomads, so... Yeah, that's still abandoned, pretty sure. There. Nope. It's not, it just looks like one. Or maybe it is, but with a unique name. Anyway, um... Whew, I wanted to give the episode a special start, but I mean, look at this. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay, so... There are quite a few nomads around, so... Might as well risk it and try to get a better view. Also, probably for sleeping, he put his staff away, but maybe he should equip it again. Don't ask me where he's keeping it, please. Let's not go there. Ah. Uh, Okay, yes, I know the nomads are seeing me. 
Oh, the little sun next to it, it just says, you know, how much light is hitting you and basically it can't be toggled to low light, which will make you less visible, of course. Uh, I'm actually gaining experience because there are people around me and I'm sneaking, so that's a bonus. But okay, um... I really don't see any battles. I don't even think uh, that there are corpses there. There's still people running around. Huh. So yeah, let's just say they're looking for a bandit, and Gibbs just needs pies to quiet down. But he actually needs something else before that. You know, he's been sleeping for a day. You go, oh, no, 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 we don't need to. We don't need to see you, man. Okay. And flush. Okay. <laughs> I thought he got stuck in the toilet. Man. Trying to keep an episode serious sometimes is not easy, huh? Anyway. Okay, so. He definitely doesn't feel too safe around here. There should be... There's still battle, battles going on. See those numbers? It's explaining what is being hit and for how much. There's still some battles there. It's crazy. Is that inside? Nope, has to be outside. I think that's why the no that's why the nomads are still freaking out. Okay. Now Gibbs is feeling a bit trapped in here because he's not able to explore, he's not able to do anything. Those are still... might be bandits, I'm not sure. Um, and he actually... He, he just... he needs some kind of money, it's way too expensive to eat. He doesn't even have money for anything else than some dried meat, and that's not always available. He might... You might have to see if somebody is dead and if he can take something from the bandits. Not from the nomads, but from the bandits. Yeah, so there's still some battling going on. You can hear the sounds, but it seems to be on the other side of this. Okay. Quite a bit out of desperation, he decides to go and see if he can get something to at least keep him going. If somebody's still alive, he won't be taking things, but this guy doesn't look alive. Where's this... Okay, there's some of the nomads, he's eating there. Maybe... with a bit of... So I know, I'll just... No, it's okay, it's just... you just ate that. Equipment and all. He was hungry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this does actually mean that he might be able to get some... Okay, you going to eat the next one? No, just let me take a look first. Nobody here? No. Okay, this guy had no weapon. And you? Yeah, you're eating that guy. 
It's okay, he has no weapon. You can eat the weaponless guys. But yeah, Gibbs is... See, this guy is... I mean, he's dead. He has to fly around them. So yeah, Gibbs ends up taking some of this. And if the bandits are creating such a problem in the whole community, they might not be. They might be a bigger threat than you thought. Who is this? Is this also a bandit? It does look like a nomad. No? Oh. Oh, that's worth something. Is he dead? That's the question. Again in a coma. Well. It's not like here's some steps. Looks like bandits, and the nomads are going after them. Maybe this isn't the safest place. That's expected, actually. But yeah, it's not like the nomad has no chance just because he doesn't have a crossbow. Seems like the nomads went went away. Okay, let's see this guy. He's dead. Actually, you know, these are the bandits. And I mean I think no, these are hungry. And those are dust. So I guess two types of bandits battled here. Yeah, this game is a bit crazy like that. Okay, another weapon. Oh, is this another crossbow? Man. Gibbs had a lucky day. That one's also conscious. Well, alright. This is a very lucky start. It's not what Gibbs really prefers to do. But he's just trying to stay alive and... He's still giving them a fighting chance. If they're still alive. Yeah, let's see. Somebody's there. It's the dog. Okay, actually, could go and see there is... Oh, is that person? I think that person's still... Ah, oh, it's in a coma and it's a nomad. Okay. No, I want to pick him up. I can't. Can I get first aid? No. I mean, I wanted to help the Nomad, but... Is that a dead Nomad dog? Then, well... Those bandits decided to battle it up on a hill. To battle it out on a hill. Okay, and I just... Saw something there that looked like a bandit. Okay, yeah, those guys are waking up. We are out of here. By the way, at the beginning, your character is very vulnerable because he can't even run decently. So I wouldn't be able to outrun most of these bandits, and they would just bash my head in. Is there any behind me? No. 
<coughs> Damn. Gibbs doesn't feel like this is necessarily what he wants to do, but if it's the way he can survive, that's what he will do for a while. It just feels dirty, like his past. It feels like what he's trying to leave behind. But he's not leaving someone for that. At least that much is important. But okay. Wow, he got some great stuff. I mean... Hello indeed. Let's actually get rest up. And try to look at what we have. So... By the way, you can see that who it was stolen from. And if for some reason you stole something from Trade Ninjas, for example, and you try to sell it here, you might get some problems. But the bandits... This whole city seems to just see them as troublemakers. And we can actually test out um, and see that this is completely okay to sell it here. I know that from my first uh, play uh, playing sessions. But yeah, you always have to be careful with it. I mean, I assume it's the same. Anyway, uh, how much would this be worth if I sell it? 200. Might as well keep it, I think. 200 also, okay. And these are 50 each. I mean, look at the uh, price. Is that how it's called? A price? Or up marking? Price markup. There it is. He would buy it for 180 and sell it for 720. I mean. <laughs> but okay, um, we'll keep one of these. I think it's pretty amazing that we are getting something like a ranged weapon this early. Completely different from my first playthrough. Uh, play sessions. Was it playthrough? All right. Wait, am I actually? Yeah, I'm just hungry. All right, let's trade. Well, okay, you have some dried meat again. I always like to buy those, so let's just put that here. Okay, is one of them better? Well, I don't think so, so the price is exactly the same. 180, that's a steal. Okay. And yeah, you see stolen goods, no problem. In green, yeah. So it's not a problem to sell these here. In other places I think you can risk it, but there is a chance you might, you know, get busted for it. And then you're in trouble. Okay, let's just... Uh, this is a range button here. That's pretty cool. But yeah, let's actually equip this. Well, that's really lucky. Okay, higher chance that we can do some... Some more interesting stuff. Other than that, what does he have here? Some building material. This allows you to, you know... Actually, repair a house um, or build certain items. There's some fuel, green fruits, which are not edible like that. You see it like it doesn't say about nutrition, it has no entry. Like the bread, 30 nutrition, but this has none, so it actually has to be processed further. Other than that, we have the weapons that we sold. Oh, was one of them better than mine, actually? 49? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Normally, if the price is better, there is something better than stats. But okay, um... So, we have a rare research book, and another research book, a common one. Um, but... Gibbs doesn't even know exactly how to go into research right now. 
and he doesn't have he doesn't have the brains for it right now. He's still kind of mushy. But all right, he got three hundred out of that. That's less than expected, but at least he won't starve today. I mean, he also got the chance to buy another dried meat. So food should surprisingly be a bit safe, a bit on the safer side now. It seems like it's becoming night. Gibbs is just taking a peek, looking. Everything seems calm. And actually, he wants to be sure. He doesn't... There is still some fighting going on. This is crazy. Yeah, he doesn't feel safe and he wants to rest up, so he actually decides to rest here one more time. Alright. I actually rest. Let's just... Yeah, another day has passed, and Gibbs had a bit of luck. He dreams about drinking a nice cold beer. Alright guys, this is the end of this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm still thinking about how, how I could keep this on a certain sketch schedule, but I think I'll just keep it uh, regular, so if somebody wants to follow it, I'll be very happy and it would still be fun for them to follow it. But I don't think I will have a predefined schedule for now. But yeah, that's about it for this episode. Sun is coming up. Kids should be waking up soon. Alright, see you then.